Uh, New England here at number four, and uh, we are waiting to see here. Oh, the pick is in, as I see here on my screen, so we can get you that here right now. With the number four overall selection of the 2023 MLS Super Draft presented by Adidas, the New England Revolution select a midfielder and Generation Adidas signing from the University of Maryland, Josh Bolma. Another GA signing off the board here, Devin. This is no surprise. That's four for four, and Bulma, highly rated guy. Sasha Swarovski has said, whoa, he's one of the best I've had. Yeah, speed, seven, 10, 11. Look, it, depending on the system, and, and of course with, with Revs, we have an idea that they've settled in a four. You can drop him to an outside marking back spot. That's the thought mm. that could possibly happen at the next level. One of the issues is, is statistically, sometimes you look at this guy and think maybe he doesn't have enough production. He got beat up. I mean, he was the focal point of the right side of the flank for Maryland and the Terrapins. But as he went, a lot of fouls, but coming off of that, right? The ability that he was able to create. Left to right side, more of an attacking player than known for his defending. Now, in the final third, needs to get better. But that will come with time. You're still looking at a young man who's taken five, six, seven fouls a game. A junior who bounced around a lot. Maryland ton of talent. Utilize you wherever he can. That's the versatility I talk about. Three or four different locations on the attacking front, and you possibly can drop him into an outside marking back spot. You know what that scouting report reminded me of? What we were saying about Tejan Buchanan four yep. years ago. The same knocks on him was that he, he wasn't quite productive enough in the final third, uh, but all the tools were there, and of course, we saw what he became for the U.S. Er, for the for the Revs and the Canadian national team. Oh, what decor. A king moment for Joshua <laughs> Boma. I want to shout out his uh, his father, George, his mother, Dorcas. He's got four siblings back at home. I'm sure they're all celebrating this moment as well. Two-time All-Big Ten selection at Maryland. Uh, also won a national title at Kent High School in Connecticut in high school. A big moment for him, and I like the Tejon Buchanan shout. If yeah. Bruce and his staff are looking at this player saying, we need to move up to get him, that's a good sign, Doyle. And as Houston Dynamo are on the clock with about three minutes to go, we should also say that the Revs need a little bit of help. They went from record setting to missing the playoffs. What is this offseason and pushing to 23 like for them? Yeah, it's actually been a little bit of a slow start to this offseason, but I, I assume that that is going to ramp up over the, the next couple of months. Um, the real question for me is, are they going to commit to that 4-2-3-1 that they played for most of the second half of the year? I think that puts Carlos Heel into his best spot as a playmaker underneath a one and with two wingers running off of him. The issue is you can't really fit Heel and Gustavo Bo and the other new uh, center forward DP Vrioni onto the field together in that formation. So they have some stuff to figure out. And of course, you know, I went on and on about their back line and then they didn't pick a, a center back. But like, they still need to address that. They do not have enough depth at that spot to get them through a long and grueling season. We literally saw that put to the test last year. Mm. Yeah, I would also say though, and, and I'm with you on the back line for sure, but when you look at it, so Henry Kessler, Andrew Farrell, as you continue on, chemistry, injuries, a lot of that gets gets messed up. And I think people take for granted what it's like being a center back on the back line. Yes, you're a leader, and especially in the modern game, you're, you're in charge of so much. You're like the quarterback of the offense, right? You come off, goalkeeper comes to you. Okay, what's the best direction to head here? Am I looking for a simple ball to the outside back? Can I play into my six? Are we going to go direct up over the top? When that's, that chemistry is not there, the convenience of knowing the subtle nuances of the players around you, that messes with you. And we saw that a lot. So even if Omar Gonzalez or John Bell stepped in there, plenty of depth. And you can get that done when you don't have a regular starter next to each other. That really disrupts the flow of the entire team. 